Okay, so you're here because you want to know how to frag your suspicularia, and it's really not that hard. I'm just doing this commentary because I realized some of the stuff that I was doing was out of frame. So I'm just going to go over the steps that it took to uh, frag the suspicularia. Uh, you'll first see me pry it off of the rock or whatever it's attached to using a uh, smooth surface type of blade or maybe like a flathead screwdriver or like dental tools, something like that where it's not that sharp like the scalpel I was trying to use before. So yeah, that's the first step. You just need to pry it off of whatever it's on. And then after that, you need to detach that uh, colony uh, from the mother colony. Uh, you'll see me use thread to do that. I just tie a knot on the thread and pull it, cinch it tight until the uh, little frag detaches from the mother colony. Uh, you can probably use scissors, scalpel, whatever you want. I just figured that would give me the cleanest, uh, quickest uh, cut. And so then after that, uh, you just need to cut up the frag. I could have definitely cut this uh, nice. It was probably like a quarter size piece. I probably could have cut that into seven, eight pieces. I just went ahead and cut some nice big ones. That way I've got some nice frags to sell later on. After that, you'll just see me thread it on with some sewing thread onto a rock or pebble, anything like that. You could even do frag plug, but I haven't had much luck keeping it on to a frag plug as much as I have little pebble rocks um, and I'm just using like pond matrix for this application here so, but you can use any kind of shells or whatever you want to use so yeah just enjoy watch the rest of the video I did everything underwater um, and then I did a water change after doing the uh, fragging you definitely want to do a water change after any sort of fragging in your tank because the corals let out uh, just their protective uh, juices and whatnot so that's it for me enjoy the rest of the video and have a good one